Okay, so I'm keeping extra quiet right now because I'm in a new place and I don't want to be loud. Okay, so before I get to the review video, I am going to be telling you guys who won the foldable toy book giveaway. So I have a randomizer here and the first two numbers or the first two names that appear in the list after I randomize it will be the two winners. That's how it works, okay? So here are all the guys who commented. And yeah, let's get on to it. Randomize. Loading. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it's taking a bit. Okay, so congratulations to Art Benedict De Castro and JJ Bao. I hope I said your names correctly. You won one toy book six. So I'll be messaging any of you guys, both of you guys, as soon as this video comes up. And yeah, I'll be asking some details on the sending address and stuff. Congratulations guys and thank you to anyone who entered, to everyone who entered, you are all awesome. So yeah, let's get on to the review video. What is up people of the world, this is Jodosauls1129, also known as Cloak here with another video. And today, I will be reviewing the October 2014 Ludobot Salanta. Now, Salanta is the fourth Trossobot to be released. The first is Gahama, the second one is Pinsala, the third is Gambala, and he's the fourth. And to be honest, he looks pretty awesome. I think I like him the most out of all the Trossobots. Here's his art right here, and here's his toy card. So his toy card has about 16, I think 16 pieces, three sleeves, uh, two top pieces, two arms, a main body, four tires, four tires, uh, two claws, and two joiner pieces. So yeah, it looks pretty awesome. And let me tell you guys, the original had 30 parts and he was a pain in the butt to assemble, to cut, to glue, everything. <laughs> but he looks pretty awesome. And I'll show you that later. So yeah, let's get on to the toy. So I'll be starting them out in vehicle mode because, yeah, as I said, the original one was a pain overall, but I think it was worth it. Look at the original, and here's the K-Zone. Now, the original, in my opinion, is the most detailed. Just look at him. He looks pretty cool. And yeah, he has these little mirrors and he has the, the things over the tires. And overall, I like him. He's probably my favorite of the original Trussobots. And here is the K-Zone version. A more simple, a more simple, less detailed but still awesome version. Now, let me just see. So, the width of these guys in their vehicle mode is about... Let's put it like that. It's about a little below three and a half inches. And the original is three and a half inches. Okay, so there they are. Let me just say that all my foldabots, as in the entire collection, is in a little uh, plane heading here. So, I don't have them yet, so I had to print this and assemble it, and the photo paper, the paper that was used, isn't really that good. It's harder to glue, so I had to use super glue, so it was even harder for me. Okay, so to transform them, let's start with the K-Zone version. You take out the claws, and feet. Put out the arms in the head. Let's pop it out. Yeah, okay. The other arm. And 
and you put these claws like that. Okay, and there we go. So this is the Kazon version. And with the original version, you do the same thing. You pop out his claws, take this one out. Uh, by the way, let me just say that the claws in both of them, th these two are the same kind of design while in the original the claws are different and that's pretty cool I just like to say that and take out the claws pop out the arm oh <laughs> pop out the arm that's Okay, then pop out the other arm. And insert le claws. Dang it, okay. So there we go and okay so here is Salanta in robot form and let's start with the Kazon. The Kazon is about let's see let's use inches he is about Get out of the way, claws. Two and a half inches, while the original version is about two and a half inches as well. So, yeah, their size is pretty much the same. Let me just point out the differences in their toy form. There are a lot of differences, significant, uh, significantly in the appearance. So, you can see the face is kind of different, the body is also different. The legs, the design here is different from this. Also, in their this part, <laughs> the I didn't glue it well. So also in the cockpit, I guess is what you call it, the cockpit or the top piece. This one is square. This one is more round. The tires are also different, and yeah, this one's basically more detailed than this but they're both awesome so yeah let's get on to the bio Salanta is a trustable who enjoys making a game out of destroying forests he rarely takes his missions seriously but gets them done anyway he uses his claws to cut down foliage and fight for the bots who get in his way his fiendish cackle is a dead giveaway that he's up to no good Salanta combines to form Trustinator's right arm not much to say there I just really like Salanta I like his toy his appearance his personality his everything he's just pretty awesome pretty epic and he looks really scary in a way in loot about mode loot and splat on Salanta's chest gives him toxic energy his claws can drill through the ground not much there in grapple truck mode he uses his body paint to camouflage himself in the forest his tires provide excellent traction on uneven terrain his claws can lift a ton of lumber he emits toxic gases like carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide so he's pretty deadly. His intelligence is 2, endurance is 4, strength is 5, speed is 2, special skill is 3. So he's got some pretty balanced stats and yeah, that's all I can say there. So I'll be pointing out the differences between the original Salanta and the case on Salanta. So let's start off with the left claw. The left claw and the original version is different from his right, while in the case on version they are the same. And also his arms don't have that slimy effect as with the feet and instead of that slimy design thing they have a silver lower foot and also let me get into the tires 
the tires in the original version have those kind of hood things on top of them. I'm not sure what they're called, but in the Kazon version, they're not there. Also, the torso is kind of different. It's got green spikes instead of yellow, and the torso is green instead of yellow, the upper torso, I meant. And the cockpit is rounded and yellow instead of blocky yellow. So yeah, I think that's all the differences I can see here. So yeah, that's about it for the video for today, guys. I'm sorry, it's kind of dull, kind of boring, it seems like it. I just moved into Manila and this is the first video here. So basically, for the bots review show is nationwide. <laughs> okay, so make sure to like, comment, and share this video. And yeah. Have a good day, guys, and congratulations to the winners of the giveaway contest. Yeah, good day.